some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Nevada with a no-nonsense officer who takes on a sovereign citizen. It is a rather short but straight-to-the-point video on the consequences of being a sovereign citizen who refuses to acknowledge that the Tenth Amendment even exists or any other laws outside the Uniform Commercial Code. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What do you mean by fictitious? You don't have a valid license plate on your vehicle out of any state, sir. Correct. That is correct. You're required to have one. Um... Do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? Sir, I don't have any of that. Okay, go ahead and step out for me. This officer states later on that he has had encounters with sovereign citizens before, so he knows how to handle them, he knows what to do, so this is going to be short and to the point. He is not going to take any of their crap. Um, I'd rather stay here. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. This is the last time I'm going to ask you. Is that a threat? Under threat? If you do not exit the vehicle, I will remove you from the vehicle. Well, it's your move, Softar. Do what you think is right, but suffer the consequences if you are wrong. So, under threat. Under 23, threat. individual is re uh, refusing not, to exit. Not, I want to clarify it so I'd be correct. And we are being recorded. So what is this? What is what? This. Well, it's a lot of information here. Okay. I have the Nevada Rise statutes. Okay. All right. So what's your first name, sir? Until I'm under arrest, you have a... That is not name? true. Are you refusing to identify? No. Okay, so what's your first name, sir? Um... Good citizen, how's that? Nope, doesn't work. Legal first name, please. You can call me Brian. Well, now, he, that was unexpected. He kind of collapsed like a house of cards, at least when it came to his name. Kind of makes me wonder about his uh, commitment to the whole sovereign citizen movement, if it's really all that stable to him. Brian? I'm not giving any other information. Okay, fantastic. Go ahead and turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. I will, if under threat of arrest, I will. Why do these idiots like to say, under threat of arrest, I'll do this or that? I mean, do they want to get arrested? Is it their greatest thrill and uh, pride in life that they have an arrest record? I mean, to me, that makes no no sense whatsoever. But then again, I am not a brainwashed moron like this guy. I'm not threatening you with an arrest. I'm admonishing you if you refuse to identify yourself to me, you will be placed under arrest. And I have the You right. also said you were going to give no further information, Brian. I prefer not to, but under okay. threat of arrest. I need your name. My name is Deputy Huggins of the Knight County Sheriff's Office. Okay, let me, let me get my this isn't an exchange of information, sir. This is a traffic stop. Can I have on duty towing route? Mm -hmm. So here's what's going to happen, Mr. Brian. I'm towing your vehicle today for not having registration or insurance. You're also going to be receiving citations for those offenses. Do you understand that? No, I do not. Okay, what's unclear? What's unclear is the fact that he's about to quote the Uniform Commercial Code. I mean, that is pretty much unclear considering that it doesn't uh, apply to traffic codes. So let's watch this idiot regurgitate what other sovtards have put forth to try to make his argument legitimate. Um, the Nevada Rise Statute. Okay, and which one would that be? 104.1103. Uh, yeah, that code has nothing to do with traffic laws. But here's a code that deals with driving without insurance, which is what you're doing right now. Oh, and here's the code that pertains to, uh, driving in the state of Nevada without a license. So, you know what? Oh, yeah, the Tenth Amendment, I forgot to add into that. Uh, yeah, the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered within the Constitution. So I just want to get that covered because I know you, uh, soft hearts don't think about the Tenth Amendment because you're too engrossed with the, uh, flavor of the lead paint that you're consuming. But please carry on with your pathetic little argument of spiel. Construction of the uniform commercial code to promote underlying purposes 
policy. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not interested in anything you have to say about that. Okay. This is by which the law, you write your tickets. You have okay. a ticket, you want to vote a code, it's from the NRS. I'm okay, correct. I'm very, very I'm sorry you feel that way. At this point, I do believe the officer is just being facetious about how he feels on this topic. Because you know what? I don't feel a bit sorry for this uh, soft heart, considering he was the one that started consuming the copious amounts of lead paint chips. So the full blame lays with the soft heart, because you know what? He's the one that caused his own brain damage by eating those lead paint chips. And you know what we call that in the field of education? Self-interest behavior, or SIB for short. Anything that happens for me to take away my rights. Okay, none of your I'm, rights are being violated. How, Fantastic. I'm going to be left standing here. I can't do my... Yep, I that's because you're operating an unregistered, uninsured vehicle on a public highway. No. That is why. I am traveling... Just go ahead and hang out here. Supreme I'm going to write you your ticket. ...ruling that no laws or regulations can okay. be made for traveling in an automobile. Very good. Just hang out here at the end of your vehicle for me, please. And the fine started up. Very cool. You can send it to the county. Very good, officer. Have him send that fee schedule to your superiors. That way, they can look at it and laugh their asses off about how stupid this guy is. We typically refer to these as sovereign citizens. I like not to really engage with them. I'm not interested in what his justification as to why he doesn't have to do what everyone else has to do is. Typically, the argument, and I believe the one that he was trying to make if I would have let him, is that he's not driving a motor vehicle. He is uh, operating a vessel is typically what the wording is that they go with. And usually it's something to do with this commercial vehicle code and driver's licenses only apply to commercial vehicles, such and so forth, which is false. So if you want to operate a motor vehicle on a public highway, you have to have a driver's license and that vehicle has to be registered and insured through the state, which this is not. So we're going to be seizing his fictitious plate. We are going to be towing his vehicle and he's going to be receiving uh, approximately three citations today. Okay, Brian, I got a few things for you here, okay? This citation right here, this first one, this is now a civil infraction. This is a civil citation, okay? This is for your vehicle's plates being expired as of April in 2021. That is your copy. That's only one there? This is one. Oh, it's all so one. So you're receiving... Thing. Yeah. yeah. You, it, you get a scroll with them. I'm sorry. It's just the way our printers work. You asked if that was the only one, huh? Uh, no. You violated multiple laws, so you get multiple tickets. So enjoy paying your fines, you Kool-Aid drinking sovtard. So this is your civil citation. With the way the traffic laws have changed, we have civil and criminal citations. This is your criminal citation. These two are going to be criminal. So this is for operating without proof of insurance, and this is for driving. Your license is currently suspended out of the state of Nevada. Do you have any questions for me on those, sir? No. Okay. That one is your copy as well. This traffic stop is concluded. I'll be removing your vehicle, and you are free to go. Thank you for your cooperation today. Have a good day. His vehicle's being towed. He wasn't happy about it, but the law is the law. I don't live in make-believe land like he does. <laughs> get to just make up things and say they're the truth so he received approximately twelve hundred dollars in tickets he went on his way his car goes with the tow truck and we're going to move on to whatever else is next i would call that a lesson learned to the soft hard but you know what i don't think he has the mental capacity to understand where he went wrong Nope, he's just going to wallow in his own ignorance. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.